Welcome to the bus tiny home. Let's start with the outside. These are the stairs to enter. And if you look right here, there's a switch to retract them. Put them back down. Can enter on in. So I have the closets here, little nook area to read, and the bedroom in the back. Uh, I keep all my books over here. The curtains all the way around, um, some pictures along here, uh, and uh, some more storage space in here. So if you look at this, I have uh, storage here. Same with long here, I store all my bags in there. There's also lighting for the back. I have LED. Um, and these are all on dimmers. I have some additional storage on this side and access to the water filter through here. Um, I haven't even used that back container there for storage. Um, and some more under there as well. These two sort of bench areas. I put my shoes on here in the morning or sit when I get out of bed. Um, I keep my printer here just because I have the outlets um, and it's wireless so I can easily just print whatever. I have my thermostat here um, both for heating and air conditioning. Turn off the lights. Um, these curtains also you can tie them back or loop them up kind of like I did with this area over here just to get the light in during the day but they're uh, all lined so keeps the sun out and heat or air conditioning in um, move over to the closet area keep my clothes in here I have a top shelf there um, and I have a sort of bench storage area there over the wheel well over here I have these two double mirrors. It's all attached to one closet space, so I think overall it's about seven feet or a little bit over. Keep my coats on this side. I have all my shoes on the top. Um, and the clothing, I have a decent amount of storage space on the floor as well. Um, and if you look down here, you can see the other part of the closet. It's all one long pole. Um, this is bigger than any closet I've had, any apartment or space before this. Here the reading nook. I have some more storage down here. I have a lot of books, so I put smaller ones in here. Just different knickknacks. In here I have a, a magnetized panel, which you can take off just to charge the car batteries in case of any issue. It's a slow charger. In here, more storage space. So lots and lots of storage kind of catty corner my chair there and I kind of sit there when I work and I have my laptop up here. Um, these are the countertop spaces. A pretty big kitchen. Pretty big sink as well. I knew I wouldn't have a dishwasher so I wanted to have that. I have my stove over here. Um, I store a couple pots and pans in here. My cast iron. And I have lots of space for storage. Let's start with um, storage over here I actually use for more clothing because I have way too way too much clothing um, I also have a drawer for the baseboard in the kitchen one two three drawers I keep um, clothing in there I have all my kitchen stuff between the other two which is this one I have pots and pans um, cups all that sort of stuff in here and I keep my um, utensils down here, just with more storage space, napkins, cooking spoons, all of that. Then on this side, I have more storage space for spices, things like that. I actually have more clothing down here. Just the best use of um, that space for me. 
And here I have my Panda washer dryer. It hooks up to the sink. Um, and it's a washer spinner basically for apartments. So you put the clothing in one compartment, um, probably about three pairs of jeans or more for t-shirts. You wash it and then you put it in the spinner. It spins it pretty dry and then you just hang it. It's just a little bit damp once it comes out. It's really energy efficient um, and it's a good space saver. And here I have my instant hot water heater and my propane tank. So I turn my propane tank on whenever I want hot water or to use the stove. I usually keep it off when I'm not uh, using it just to be safe. It's my sink here. All right, we'll enter into like hallway area up here. Um, I have the bathroom in here. With a sink and mirror. I have a compostable toilet that could be used in here. Um, I'm parked right now somewhere that has a bathroom right next to me, so I've been using that. Um, there's also a few other options on Amazon that are not compostable, but maybe a little bit more um, user friendly for people that don't want to compost. I turn to the shower area. So if you can see here, I have a door for the bathroom there and the shower. I plan on hanging just a curtain here to kind of separate it. I have these wood slats here um, that you can drip dry on once you get out of the shower and all of it leads to the same um, drainage. So there's it's a pitched floor underneath here that drains um, to the same place that the shower drain drains. Um, you can see there's a dimmer on this light, the knob here for hot and cold, and the shower head, which is very easy to change if you wanted a different style of shower head. Um, I find that it's a perfect amount of space for the shower. I kind of like having it open, um, and since you enter into like a hallway area, I oftentimes, if I'm not somewhere the most private, just keep this door open um, just to kind of block anything. And in here I obviously have the curtains, so it's pretty private. All of these um, LED lights are throughout the bus, and then I have another um, central air unit in the front, which has its own thermostat. Um, I decorated the space with curtains here. I'm actually still looking for the proper cushion if I need to do custom or whatever for this space for the pull-out bed. So I have these two handles here, and this pulls out. Let me try to do it with uh, right now. So basically this pulls out like this, um, and the cushion, whatever cushion I have for the backing, I want to be able to just put next to it to lay flat um, so that I can have a queen-size space for guests. Let's pull this back up. Close the space, which you can see here, one and two. I just pulled it out at the same time. I have some more storage down here, um, and I have a little cabinet up here, which I also have for storage. Um, I use it for like my extra bags for sh grocery shopping, arts and crafts. Up here, I have the driver's seat. Different ways. It's a 1966 GMC Greyhound um, keyless startup. Um, you have to wait for the air to um, pump up in the system. Um, I just keep my extra supplies up here for screws, anything like that, if I wanted to do any sort of amendments. I have a pretty massive closet up here as well, um, which you can hang uh, a rack in to add more clothing, put some shelves in. I've just kind of been using it as like my um, medicine cabinet space and spare clothing, uh, towels as well but um, you could easily make this into something that uses more space. I was thinking sort of caddy corner shelves, um, just something a little bit more efficient. And here I have just all the electrical. These are for the, the front AC unit, the rear AC unit. Um, these are for the LED lights, and this is for all of the electrical outlets. So if anything goes out, you pull in here, um, and you can reset it and everything's labeled over here on this side. So yeah, that's just about everything. Um, 
Let me know if you have any questions. I'm happy to answer them. And yes, I'll speak to you soon. Bye.